Hi my lovelies, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to show you how I style my short fine bob, which I hate. <laughs> so as you know, I had to cut that short not long ago and I am not really a fan. And I think the reason is that my face shape is quite round. I've got quite whitish jaw here. So this length is not really ideal. <clears throat> If you have a nice heart shaped face, you know, with a lovely pointy chin, bob like this looks amazing. Therefore, I need a lot of volume, especially at the top. If I had more oblong or heart shaped face, then quite flat, short bob would look fine. That's my opinion anyway. Also, you have to think of what you look like as a whole, not just your face. So you just see my face, my head, but if I have very flat, short, stuck to my head hair, I look like a pinhead because I have quite big hips. So you need to balance it. Okay, so I've washed my hair. I don't use anything for like thickening shampoos, anything like that. I have bleached hair, so I use shampoos that repair my hair. I use Olaplex usually, shampoo, and then I use the Olaplex number six, and that's it. I don't usually use any root boosts, uh, volume stuff, because I feel with the fine hair, that actually weighs, you, weighs your hair down, especially mousses. I'm sure there are products that are nice and light, but I find that most of them, um, weigh my hair down but I found this so I was shopping the other day and I saw this new brand that I've never heard of Kristin S and this is instant lift thickening spray root to end so it's not just like a root lift it's just a thickening spray and I've tried it and it doesn't weigh my hair it's pretty weightless and it does give you a bit more thickness. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to brush my hair. This is wet brush. I love these brushes because they don't tug on your hair. See, I've got like natural parting somewhere here, sort of off center. Uh, so my hair is towel dried. It's already dry on the ends because it's, you know, I've got really thin hair and it's drying under there. So I'm going to spray this all over my hair. Not too much. Never good to spray too much of anything brush it through again and now what I'm going to do is to dry my hair almost like 80 90 percent dry so how I used to do my hair when when it was longer I would actually wash my hair the night before dry it just with the hair dryer, no styling, go to bed the next day, I would straighten it and do something to lift my roots. Well, I've realized that with this short haircut, because I don't want it to be too flat, I mustn't use straightness. So straightness give you yes, very nice smooth looks, but you will not get volume with straightness because you're using heat on both sides of your hair and flatten it. So all the cuticles are flat. You don't get the volume. When my hair is longer, I don't mind not having that much volume, but with shorter hair, what you need is proper blow dry. And I know not everybody likes or is capable of using two hands. I've pulled out my old and trusty Babyliss Big Hair brush. This is the one that rotates both sides. I am very used to using this brush because obviously you have two directions that you rotate, so you have to remember which is which. 
also very important when you take a section of hair that is not wider than this brush because when you rotate it can get caught here and I feel like this brush is probably better for maybe to mid-length hair if you have very long hair this is probably not as good now if you are scared to using the self-rotating brush I've noticed this is like a you know hair dryer and brush in one I've noticed that there is a lot of this new devices they have big brush and a hair dryer in one but the brush doesn't spin so you can just do it yourself but by using one hand so I will find different ones and I will link it in in a description box but first I am going to dry my hair and when I dry my hair love my Dyson the best hair dryer in the world I try to lift my hair at the root sort of use my hands as comb and do this so I'm lifting it at the root so let's start blow drying So can you see how much volume I can get just by doing that? So <laughs> you use your hand as a claw, put it in, grab it, sort of grab your hair and lift it forward like this. And you do that all over the top and that already gives you volume. Now the rest of my hair, I'm going to flip it that way and dry it that way. Then I'm going to go like this and I do the same on the other side. Also, I am going to flip my head upside down and dry the back. All that should give you more volume to start off with. So you can see by doing that you get quite a lot of volume. So when my hair is completely dry and I went in with a straightener, it would, I would lose all that volume because you're flattening your hair and the heat while you're doing it will make it flat again. So straighteners are good for, um, depends what hairstyle you're after, but if you have to volume, straightener is not that good unless you only straighten the end. To create the swoop, you blow dry your fringe the opposite way. <laughs> So then when I flip it, I get that swoop. Right, so my hair is, I would say, 80% dry. I am going to change into this. But first, because my hair is so short at the nape of my neck, just here, I have to do this couple of sections with that. So first of all, I am going to section my hair. I have a lot of these sectioning clips. Let me section off just the top that I don't want to touch for now in like a rectangle. And then I will section each section as I go along. So I need to do the very bottom. I take my two fingers and try to go from both sides quite straight. Obviously, I can't see what I'm doing. When I do it in my bedroom, I have a big mirror um, on one of the wardrobes behind me so I can see better. So this might not be as good as I normally do it. 
then I'm going to take another section above that one and blow dry that with a little brush and then I can go into the big one. I hope that looks okay. Obviously it doesn't have to be perfect because you won't really see that. Right, next section. But this will give you more of a salon blow dry and also smooths your hair at the same time just as um, brush and hair dryer would do. Can you see how it smooths everything? I love this brush. I've had this brush for years and sometimes I use it all the time then I forget about it. Um, but it's, it makes things so much easier than using your both hands. So I will section my hair to that top. I go round it with this brush and then I will come back to do the top. Just one more thing, um, I show you also that you don't have to keep that brush just in one place. You can move it, you can make your hair straighter. So on here, I've turned the spinner, wound my hair and then took my finger off the spinner and left it like that and then gently pulled it out. On this side, I turned the spinner off, wound my hair and while it was spinning, I was moving my, my brush up and down so it's drying the whole shaft. So you can do it a few different ways. Depends, you know, where you want the volume, how much volume you want. If you don't want big bend here, then don't keep spinning it all the time up here. Pull it down while you're spinning. That will straighten the hair a bit more. Okay, so this is done now. Look at the back. It's made it all really smooth. You see, and I didn't even need straighteners, but I have nice body in it. So we are going to go to do this section now. We're going to go backwards here at the crown. And then here, I do all sorts of things. I go that way, that way, just to get the most volume I can at the front. So, I will start sectioning my hair. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use uh, the Aveda Air Control hairspray on my roots, very lightly. This is brushable, not really stiff hairspray but it might give me a bit of more volume and grip I 
I have a problem here. Can you see how my hair splits here? Because here I have, my head is very flat and I have an indentation in my hair. It's really weird, I know. But apparently when I was a baby, you know, the soft spot, my, it wouldn't fuse. So I have like an indentation and that is, that's why I always have to back comb this bit because my hair seemed to split um, over there when that indentation is. This hair is like almost dry now because that's the finest hair that I have here at the front. Yeah, and where the hairspray was, I get a bit of grip. Can you see? Now I'm going to split my hair. Now I'm going to get this section that is sort of in my parting. I know this is a bit complicated. You know, I'm not a hairdresser. I just make it up as I go along. I do the both sides now. And now I am going to, because I want my hair to go this way, but I'm going to blow dry it this way so I get more volume when I flip it over. I hope that makes sense. So as you can see, I have a lot of volume in my hair now, but this will collapse a bit because my hair is so fine, especially if the weather is not very good. So I will show you what else I do to make this volume stay for longer and to even last next day. A lot of you probably would be happy already with that. I'm not because you know, this is not big enough for me. So um, I will show you what I do. So, you know, I'm a fan of using baby crimper or volume to create sort of scaffolding and volume underneath your hair. So this is the volume. It's, it's a type of crimper. I'm going to spray a bit of this hairspray underneath through the sections very tiny bit and let it dry because again that will give me some hold once I've used the heat so I'm leaving the top layer free of any crimping I take the second one And I just clamp, clamp, clamp. Can you see? So it gives you this crinkly here, which is almost like what I call, like in a wig, permatease. But make sure you leave it to cool down properly so you don't take it out. Oh, and when you're doing it, have your hair up and do it like that near the scalp because that's what give you will give you the volume. Here maybe just one. Look at that. Can you see how much volume that gives? I'm going to do some on this side. Don't make the sections too thick. Okay. 
Okay, let's just gently, very gently back on the top. I use the Bedhead Masterpiece. I have to back on this back because as I've told you, I've got that hole that sort of splits in half. So I have to take care of that. So I'm basically going around my crown and any or how. I'd like to walk like this. <laughs> that's my that's my ideal hair sticking out like a scarecrow. That's how much I love big volume. Notice that I do everything in moderation. Very gentle back on, very gentle spray of hairspray, not too much of anything. I'm going to let it dry now. Okay, now I'm going to gently brush through that. Flatten it a bit. Spray it bit of hairspray here on the top. I'm going to go to the mirror to sort out my bag because I'm sure it looks like a nest. Now I will tuck this side behind my ear. You could pin it with something. I don't know, have I got something here? You could pin it with something. And this side is nice and big. This one is tucked in. So this scaffolding that is underneath, you can see if I just go like this, it will get bigger and bigger. And providing that there is no rain outside and no moisture, you know, it's not damp that all this is gonna fall out. Tomorrow morning when I get up and I zhuzh my hair, the volume will be still there. So that's why I like these type of crimping tools for giving volume. And that's done. I know I've heard already some of you saying that my hair looks like helmet, it's far too big, but that's how I like it. I still don't like my hair that short, but I'm quite happy with this look. I think if I was going to have my hair short, I would have had inverted bob because once you cut it up here, it looks much better. So, but I'm growing my hair back. So maybe one day I will have inverted bob again. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.